Welcome. If this is your first time on my channel, feel free to click on my about page and read what I wrote to get a better idea as to what this channel is all about. When I had a full head of hair, I did an experiment where I went months not washing my hair with shampoo or conditioner. I only used water and my hair ended up looking completely flat and stringy. Trust me, you won't see anyone who washes their hair with only water appearing in any hair product. Commercials as the model showing the desired result. They might, however, appear as the before example where they're supposed to have unesthetic looking hair, shampoos, conditioners, hair gels, hair sprays, hair mousses, flat irons, blow dryers, combs, brushes, scissors, shears, hair clippers, razors, etc. are all technology. So hair that is made aesthetic thanks to these tools is unnatural, quote unquote, just like headwear. So does that mean that aesthetic looking hair should also not be allowed in ID photos, courtrooms, fancy establishments, etc. As is the case with headwear. The most important subject to make a YouTube channel about is of course acknowledging the horrible suffering of sentient beings. Sentient beings in the wild, harmed by default nature, like where non-human animals get eaten. While they're still alive, starved to death, etc. No one wants to be the gazelle, having its hindquarters torn off and eaten by hyenas while still alive, or the hyena who starves to death, for example. As well as sentient beings being harmed by humans, like humans harming both non-human animals and fellow humans. Fortunately, there are quite a few YouTubers who have channels that are primarily dedicated to addressing this most important issue and they should be the youtubers who get the most views and subscribers but we live in an unfair world unfortunately that focuses its attention on unimportant things so thanks to those amazing people i've been able to turn my attention to making a channel about a less important subject i decided to make a channel that i haven't seen anyone else cover so i figured i would be the one to fill in that niche hair loss and the unfair way headwear is treated are of course way less important than the horrible harm that sentient beings go through yet are still significant because hair loss affects some people in a harmful manner, such as depression for example. Nature is indifferent to the harm it causes including the deterioration of sentient beings and the deterioration of objects that sentient beings care about through the passage of time going from being aesthetic to becoming unesthetic. Hair is only aesthetic when it's properly washed meaning not just washed with water alone. And there would be no such thing as short hairstyles for people with full heads of hair, without scissors, shears, hair clippers, etc. People who are anti-technology, like the Amish, for example, yet still wear clothes and live in shelters made by humans, are hypocrites, because clothes and human-made shelters Ah, technology. To be truly against technology one would have to live completely naked in the wild, not using any tools, only relying on their own body, so no making fires, no building shelters, etc. allowed in order to remain consistent with their anti-technology belief. Sorry, beavers, but you build dams, so you are damn technology lovers also. Therefore, you don't qualify as living technology-free lives either. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.